What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with J.R. Smith. You know, as a kid, that's all, that's all you need. One goal is NBA and then aspirations to get stuff like sneakers. Going to do some sneaker shopping tonight. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. I'm going to buy some sneakers. Let's go. JR, growing up, older cousin and an older brother, they introduced you to the twos. Remember back then, were those your favorite? These are definitely my all-time favorite. The original twos, the comfortability in them, uh, to be able to, to play in them and hang out in them um, was always like one of my favorites. And uh, it just so happened this was the first shoe he wore when I was born, so it made perfect sense. You Instagrammed a picture of your closet. You were like, I used to window shop in New Jersey malls and now I could get whatever shoe I want. What was it like back then growing up? Our aspiration and the goal, you know, for, for myself, it took it back to the original days. You just want sneakers, you just want to go sneakers and hoop, and uh, nothing else really mattered. You know, as a kid, that's all, that's all you need. One goal, just the NBA, and then aspirations to get stuff like sneakers. Um, and that's what really took me over the hump. That's what I think separated me from the, the difference between a lot of people. That's one thing I wanted to focus on is basketball sneakers, and now I'm able to do that. Definitely. And your dad was a construction worker? Yeah, my dad's done, he's done construction all his life. So he's, my pops just turned 60, so he's about 40 years in. And did you work with him growing up? Yeah, I did a lot of long days with him on the construction sites. So a lot of humbling uh, days out there, and uh, thankfully I'll be able to do what I do now, so I don't have to do work like that. JR, you're playing for the Nuggets. You have a crazy dunk over Gary Neal. Yeah. Cool gray 11s. Yep. Do you remember specific dunks with specific sneakers or you've had too many? You know, you play in certain kicks, I play better. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these, obviously with Gary Neal, uh, I believe I had the taxis on against Cleveland at the Garden. I and then the cool gray 12s was the reverse alley-oop on the Knicks. Then the cool gray 12s so was the reverse alley-oop. So two cool alley grays and two great dunks. Yeah. Do you save any of them when you have like a special moment like that? No, actually, I give them to my dad. Okay. So my dad, my dad is like a, a memorabilia freak. So ever since I was little, he collected cards and stuff like that. So actually, the NBA championship ball when we won it in '16, my shoes, jersey, everything I wore in the in finals. He's got jerseys from New Orleans, Denver. Uh, Knicks, he got my China jersey. Wow. High school jersey, he's got it all. So he's got. He all. doesn't wear size 15 though. Nah, he's a 13. Pops okay. is a 13. Thank God. I'm the only person who can fit my shoe. JR, the 2012 to 2013 season, I think you wore seven different signature lines, and still today you switch them up a lot. Yeah. What is it about that that you like to keep them guessing? I obviously like wearing stuff that's unpredictable mm -hmm. for people. Um, wear the, some of the rare stuff, but at the end of the day, it still has to be comfortable. That's pretty much how I decide, but flair could override comfortability at okay. times. I wore, I wear a 15. It's been times I've squeezed into a 14 and fortunately still had a good game. So nice. yeah, it's worked. And what are some of your favorite lines? I know like even recent, you've been wearing PGs. Yeah, I was wearing PGs, obviously bronze. Yeah. Um, I've been wearing, I was wearing the lows. Kyrie's took, yeah. obviously wearing Kyrie's. These yeah. are ridiculous. But it's crazy, you know, sitting here watching, looking at these shoes, I can literally sit there and think like, okay, I remember when Brian first wore these. I remember when we first wore these, I remember when we wore those. I remember when we played against such and such, we wore those. And I can remember when Kyrie did the same thing on each different shoe. So it's kind of weird because I get to tell a story, but it's kind of eerie too, being in the situation to be able to have that access. What about foams? Were you big into foams? You know, I was big into foams as a kid, like, you know, roaming around the streets, but I could never play in phones. My foot is too wide and the shoe is kind of narrow, so it doesn't really, it didn't really fit for me, but for me, they're the best just chilling and hanging around there. LeBron going to the Lakers, will you still lace up LeBron's shoes next year though? Yeah, absolutely. I've had bad relationships with people who've had their own signature shoe and yeah. still wore their shoe. Oh, that's cool. I just tell them I look better in it. Than <laughs> me. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's my, that's my brother. I, I've always wear his shoes. JR, we see a lot of Supreme Jordans, but specifically a collection, Supreme Nike, from this past year, you were handpicked to model the collection. Yeah. How did that come about? It was a partnership on both sides. They felt as I would be a perfect athlete for it. I thought I would be too. Uh, so my rep they reached out to my representation and we got the deal done. So it, it, it's a perfect fit and I love it. What was it like to be in, you know, such a cool brand, iconic brand? Well, you know, it's a streetwear brand. So mm -hmm. it's like, 
It represents the streets, it represents that gritty, weird in a say, depending on who you ask. Um, personality. Personality, yeah. you know, and that's what, that's what I represent, I feel, as, as, a, as a person. What I've grown, grown as my reputation, you know, some people to see as a, a street-minded person on the basketball court, which mm -hmm. is which is the brand, so that, uh, I think it, it works great. We see in LA when we're going and shooting in LA and then in New York, lines for product. Yeah. Now, do you have the lifetime pass when new products come out? Uh, I'm not gonna say the lifetime <laughs> pass, I got a pass. I got a great contact over there, they take, care, they take real good care of me. And the last thing we gotta talk about, right before we went to shoot this, a couple yeah. of days ago, the Supreme Tattoo. Yeah. What made you get that? <laughs> We um, thought you were going to wear shorts tonight. Nah, I, I, I hate bugs. I hate mosquitoes. So, oh, okay. Mosquitoes love me, so I, I decided <laughs> to wear pants. But um, yeah, I, I got the tattoo the other day. Um, my guy Rico in, in the Bronx did it for me. It was a lot behind it because a lot of people was like, mm -hmm. are they paying you for it? I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. It was like, so what are you doing it for? Because like, that's who I am. That's, yeah. that's, that's why I am who I am. It worked out, though. I got a lot of great responses. I got a lot of bad feedback. Really? Complex posted it a minute after. That's yeah, like the sure. perfect Complex post. Yeah, but you know the trolls are always gonna have always. something to say. So I'll let that rock and uh, I'll take the win. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Get the browser shell, see what you're gonna take home. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna take these. Gotcha. And definitely the black. And I'm gonna take these. Safaris? Yeah. I got you. Word. Yeah, I'm gonna top mine off with these. Uh, For sure. Point, no. It's the last, last of my collection. Got you. Yeah, let me get this one and that one. Oh, this is what I meant to say. Yeah, I need the canteen. Too. I got you. All right, so your total is going to be $4,633.72. And that's with the family discount. That's with the family oh, okay. discount. Thank you. <laughs> that's a long ass run to the front door. What? Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Appreciate it. No problem. Y'all have a good one. You too. So, JR came through, got some new sneakers, got some new clothes. Thanks yep. so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all having me. Good luck this season. What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex for New York City at Stadium Goods with... What's up, man? Joe, what's up, baby? How you doing, I'm, I'm Joe? I'm here today. What's up, baby? How you doing? Chilling, man. You good? Um, you ready? Let's go. Uh, you shop? You show them the phone book. I need your autograph before we start. This is the Complex sent me here. Oh, what's up? You see me on the no, no. This is um, the show, right? You're on the wrong show, bro. Oh. Yo, this is bullshit, man. This dude was supposed to be here like five minutes ago. Keep, like, what are we supposed to do? This motherfucker, man.